Yo, what's going on guys? Sekapoko here bringing you another another Genshin Impact video. For this video, we're going to be doing a tier list video. And I don't really do a lot of tier list videos, but um, I don't really want to do a tier list for this game. And I haven't done one for a long time because I, I was Mimi on tier list for a very, very long time. And I do so on stream. But what we're doing today is we're doing a community tier list kind of in the format you see here. here. And essentially what happens is I put it out to the community for Twitch and a lot of people to come in and they vote on different things. And we've been voting on different uh, categories for each character. And this is community tier list is not my my own personal creation. It's basically I just created the categories and the definition for different categories. And I'll be going there over them in the video. Uh, the way this works is people vote on a specific way that work, this works out. And we then give out everybody's opinions. We then take the average vote or the, the closest possible moniker of what it could be. And then that would be then the placement in the tier list for those characters. And we go forward from there. So guys, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, boys and grills. So today on the video, um, I don't really put out tier lists a lot because I really don't like not a lot of people having input on tier lists and giving a lot of thoughts and opinion tier lists just for memes. I do that sometimes. And then I do, of course, do like uh, a lot of analytical tier lists and things like that and a lot of games and stuff like that. But for this particular game, I thought it would be a really good idea to do a community tier list because there is the, there's a lot of like information out there about like what people think and how they, they think about units. So for this tier list, this is how the rating scale is going to work. Uh, we got Twitch chat above us right here, about 2,000 plus people here right now, uh, just saying hi, so hope you guys have fun. Uh, rating scale is going to work, we're going to break down like this. Uh, the rating scale is going to be S tier is going to dominate in all content, or what in, in most content, I would say, with little to no issues. A tier is a unit that is going to have some issues, but clearly is a dominant force. B tier is is pretty good it's, it's whatever it's pretty average but it still works and then c tier is like you can't do that at all or it's just bad okay for the definitions of each kind of thing we can see we are going to have different kinds of categories there are going to be five separate categories we're rating on each character the first is going to be support dps support dps is a character any kind of damage booster that's going to take will take damage from characters and an element type and amplify other characters through elemental reactions essentially what that is is you put like a particle up on someone or you use like a mona dps boost to get your damage up or something like that that kind of thing in order to boost damage like bennett's ability to boost damage that is basically where you're at as far as how a character will be rated in a tier list as far as over things go now as far as defense ability and healing defense and healing is basically this character's ability to be uh good at protection and protecting other healers uh other characters in the field other characters by using shields using the screen defense screens whatever it may be it also is good for healing crowd control very important and taunts very important for those things so uh i'll go over in different characters in a bit we're, we're going to skip fire because we'll let the community do that in a bit um and then of course we're going to have main dps characters main dps characters are going to be primary units that are going to be used for physical and elemental damage and are used for the longest portion of times in fights and are used um for the highest per damage per second these are like big pp damage dealers like the lube clutching all that crap you know like you know you know what i'm talking about all right Next up, we have reactive DPS. Now, reactive DPS is a little bit different than support DPS. These are units that can create massive elemental reactions like swirl characters, uh, water characters, fire characters, characters that can do big fucking damage against one target because of an elemental reaction and get those huge damage bursts off because of massive amount of damage elemental reaction. So that is a what a reactive DPS is. It's very, the TLDR is in. It's a u really good unit for creating a short burst. All right. The last tier we're going to be writing on is exploration. Now, this is a big factor in the game, and I wanted to put include this in the tier list because no matter what, it's really important for a lot of people to explore the map. And, the, of course, the main thing that a lot of people prioritize in this game is adventure rank or adventure level. And, of course, that is your ability to explore the fucking map and do a really good job at it. So, um, exploration is the best characters for exploring the map, getting resources on the daily, like m uh, mineral nodes, ores, etc., like the plants around the field, all that. You know, Mona just running around with her, like, thing, the fish if you want to. Questing and puzzle solving. 
So like you ever use the 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 Zhangling bear and you try to light the totems on fire, but then, then you can't because they're like elevated. So now we've gone over the ratings of the tier list. Let's go over the different units and talk about them. So first off, we got Amber uh, hitting at the support tier, and then C defensive at B main DPS C and reactive DPS A and next portion S. Now the reason she got hit up in the A tier for a reactive DPS is because of the way that her aim shot works. So if you use Amber for an aim shot hit, you can actually get a huge hit because of the way her aim shot works. Uh, you can use it with Amos bow, or you can use it with, a, there's a three star bow that you can use it with. And you get these massive surges in damage with any kind of melt damage or vaporize damage. So you can actually do a significant amount of damage with her as a reactor. So it's really surprising that you can do it. I was like, on my personal account, I was dropping like 4K, at advent like eventually like 28. So I'm almost at 4.5K now, which is actually kind of mad lad. And like, the you, like, I'm kind of curious how the unit is gonna go, but like it was a community vote, and we kind of talked about it a little bit, and she's pretty good as reactor. Defensibility, she provides a little like a totem buddy, but beyond that, she doesn't really do much. Too much. The only other thing she does for exploration, she helps you with the totem, uh, the totems for the fire launches, everything right there. So she's definitely good for S tier. All right, next up we got Big Daddy Deluke. Big Daddy Deluke, uh, so that's the support DPS. Kind of good for providing the reactions for Vaporize because you put the E up on people and they use a charge attack immediately after. So he's pretty good for supporting DPS to get your, those elemental particles up because of the way you can actually use his E to create those Vaporizes. So it is an okay way to go. Unfortunately, I'm not really a fan of that either way. He doesn't really have any defensibility whatsoever, so he can't really be using anything. The only thing he really uses is his ultimate to use an iframe for like three seconds. That's really all that he provides. So there's a lot of characters that can do that and every like many characters can do that as their iframe. So I'm really uh, not people just want to say no he's not very good uh as far as the main dps goes top tier reactive dps so you get those big melts and big vaporizes top tier dps and he's okay for exploration because he can three hit the rocks and he's the husbando so i mean i get it whatever Moving on, we got Bennett. Now, Bennett is a support DPS, is a very good character for reacting for Vaporize and stuff like that. Very good, as well as his ultimate providing a lot of damage. He also is a pretty darn good healer, as well as defensive character, but not the best because the ticks on the heal don't really give you a lot. As far as the main DPS goes, you really get a ton out of him. His attack multipliers aren't super high. He's kind of hard and janky to hit with. And of course, using his ease is very, very uh, janky as well. So a lot of people don't like that. But as a reactive DPS, you get big elemental reactions and big surges in damage. Uh, there's a huge, huge bump there. Exploration, he's kind of booty. Uh, but, you know, he hit the fire totems, though. So, I mean, that's, that's a bonus, right? It's a small bonus. All right, for Jinku, uh, we got support DPS. A lot of people like this character, of course, for the E, for the bear, to create, like, the elemental reactions and swirls to get, like, a big amount of damage, as well as the reactor to just do a lot of amounts of fire on enemies so you get more, like, bird reactions with official, etc. So a lot of people like that. As for defensibility, she has almost no defensibility. She's a very okay unit. It's a main DPS. A lot of people like this unit, so uh, they boosted A. My personal opinion was B, but a lot of people said A, so all right, cool. All uh, right, and then we have, of course, as a reactive DPS, really kind of a detrimental character, actually, of a character for reacting onto uh, elemental reactions. For Guapo Bear, only hits for like 100% 100 damage or something like that, 111 or something like that, so not a lot of damage, and she's really not the greatest. Zhang Ling, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say Zhang Ling, I said Jinku, I'm sorry, whatever, fuck it, you know, moving on. All right, for exploration, she's trash. And you ever try to use the bear to hit the totems? Oh my god. It's, it's awful, just awful. Just just awful oh my god I, you wait eight seconds per bear bro or however long damn you're a you're a you but you can move the bear second but no shut up <laughs> <laughs> all right we we'll skip Klee. we'll come back to it later uh we got it to mona now mona has a support dps one of the best support dps units in the entire game very very strong unit overall Defensibility, she provides the totem, which then, of course, get taunts up on enemies, which is very strong as well. Main DPS, kind of lacking because you really can't get enough hydro damage to really exacerbate her damage. And there's no sets in the game that really boost hydro damage, so you're not going to get a huge amount of damage for Mona. Uh, as far as reactive DPS go, one of the best reactive DPS in the game, and definitely for exploration, is the fastest unit in the game to get a lot of places. Walking on water is super nice. So, definitely one of the best characters for exploration as well as reactive DPS in the entire game. Jinku, I know nothing about. About this unit but this is what the chat voted on they said he's a good support dps decent for defensibility and healing okay is not really that great as main dps and pretty good as reactive but i know nothing about this unit but they wanted to give their opinion that's what they said they were at uh barbara now this one you know, was kind of interesting one of the things that was really kind of interesting about barbara was that she's okay as providing reaction with her e wet react keeping the swirl the the e on you and you then walk up to people and use like the loot to get the vaporized and stuff like that and it was kind of an okay thing 
for Barbara, but there's definitely some negatives there. And one of the big negatives for Barbara for Prayer and DPS is that if you're using a, a character like Barbara for E and then walking up to an enemy that is probably frost or probably not like neutral, if they have any kind of frost attack, you instantly get frozen. And that's a huge detriment to her kit because of the wet. So Barbara can get you frozen all the time. It sucks. It's really annoying. A lot of all, all of us hate it. Uh, def for defensibility and healing, same problem with that. She does have the problem of getting you frozen a lot of the times. So it's not really the great thing. But as far as healing goes, she does pretty well. But she definitely deserves to move down a little bit because of that issue. Uh, main DPS, she trash. <laughs> Gotta even try. It's or it's horrible. And of course, for reactive DPS, she can do some good damage because her charge attacks do pretty well. But a lot of characters can do that with a charge attack. Mona definitely does a much better job of that with, with a lot of other hits and vaporizes. But she definitely can do some good work. As far as exploration goes... People like her a lot because she can heal, and then she can move around and get the healing in. So that's what they like her for. All right, moving into ice characters. We're going to go over Chung Young. And Chung Young is a character that a lot of people like as a support DPS because when you pop his E, you can then, of course, have an element on your sword. The sword will then I mean, pass to different people for other melee attackers. And, of course, really, really good with a character like Diluc. So he can actually use a Chung Young e, uh, e and then, of course, auto attack on Diluc one time and then get a melt reaction and auto a couple times and Diluc and melt reactions. Really, really good. Personally, I think it was way better with Bennett because of the way the multipliers that you get with Bennett versus the Luke, it's much better in my opinion. Uh, but you know, you can test that out for yourself. Try it out. I think it's much better with Bennett. But you know, it's very, very good either way for Chung Young. Um, now, as far as defensibility and healing, as far as defensibility, people really like him because cryo characters all have a little bit of an edge as far as de defensibility because what they can do is they can take a water character that's on the field or any kind of water element and just use an auto attack from Chung Young or whatever to freeze enemies completely and get shatter bonus damage, etc. All that is very, very strong uh, as far as the defensibility character. So that's what cryo characters get a small bump in general just because of that. As far as main DPS goes, uh, people like him. They think he's good. I don't know. I don't have enough experience on him. Uh, his A tier is pretty good. Uh, as far as reactive DPS, not really the best option because Cryo, as a second hit, that only gets a 50% bump. So they don't really get a, as much as fire characters as reactive DPS for the second hits on teams. And then for exploration, people like him because he's really good for three hitting th things. And I think he also has a good passive for exploration as well. So um, it does help out. Next up, we have Kaya. And Kaya was actually pretty high rated. I was very surprised how high rated Kaya was. So as a support DPS, people really like Kaya because of his E ability. is on 6 second cooldown and it synergizes really well with the Luke. You can synergize with any fire characters. You get those big melt hits off. Very, very good. Very defensibility. He's very defensive on himself. And he, can, of course, has a cryo character. So you can provide the extra hydro. Uh, if you had a hydro character on the field, any kind of hydro element, you can then, of course, get a freeze off. And they can, they're stagnant for multiple seconds. That's very, very nice. His Q ability, of course, uh, having the chain around him for a long period of time is a lot of defensibility and of course offensibility at the same time so that's great as far as main dps goes kind of an okay option i've done it myself i've done it for a while and it's it's definitely okay it's not the best it's definitely okay uh, for reactive, again, same problem as Chung Young. It's a cryo character. You can't really get the best reactions for damage on them. But, of course, you can enable other characters' damage, which is what support DPS is for, like, superconduct, etc. And that's what support is. That's why super deluxe is much higher rated on the A tier versus, like, the reactive DPS for S tier. This is where that character is the character that does the big damage. All right. For exploration, he's an S tier character. People like the ability to walk on water with him. Very nice for that. Uh, he also, I believe, has a really good passive for decreasing uh, the stamina cost that you have when you run around. Very good for that. So a lot of people like that as well. Alrighty, and then next we got Chi Chi. A lot of people love Chi Chi. S tier support unit, best healer in the game by far. The ability to get the cues off of people with no negatives, as well as be able to have life steal on characters for multiple seconds, use an auto on a character randomly to get another heal in when your shit's on cooldown. Awesome unit. Very, very good unit. As far as main DPS goes, not the best unit. Not a lot of multipliers that really like boost you out very, very well. So definitely an okay unit in that regard. As far as reactive DPS, again, cryo character, not the best in that situation. And for exploration, very good. Because, of course, you have the E that swirls around you and gets a lot of things. And she's tiny. She can fit under things. So I don't know why that's good. But people like it for exploration. I'm not going to argue. Whatever. S tier. Moving on. We got lightning tier. So for lightning characters right here, we got chat saying nanda yo nanda yo nanda to nanda to nanda yo nanda yo dame da oh my gosh nani nani on the kata oh my wo mo shindeiru all right moving on she's really bad and it's short i don't know james we already did it 
It's over already. Right. Moving on. We got Beidou. And Beidou is, as a support DPS, trash. She, she kind of trash. The, the reason that she's trash as a support DPS is because she's a reactor, not a, not a support. Because you can only way you get an elemental particle, any kind of sort of reaction on her, is if you use an E first to react. And that does nothing. So she, she's really bad for that. Uh, for defense ability, she's the only full counter in the game. The full counter is very good, but it is kind of unreliable due to uh, netcode. So because there's a problem with the internal problems of the game when you switch to a character, sometimes you can't use your E and you can't block it, so it's a little issue there. So that's kind of a problematic thing. As far as the main DPS goes, a lot of people like her. She thinks she's pretty good, but mm, she does not as good as other characters. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and as far as reactive DPS, her ulti is big freaking PP. Pee -pee. It does crazy good work and does the big damage. So it definitely is a much, much better unit as a support unit and a reactor unit versus the main DPS, in my personal opinion as well. I think she's great. All right, for exploration, she's she's okay. She gives you swim speed, right? That's kind of cool. I like swim speed. <laughs> All right, then we got then we have Kaching. Now uh, Kaching, sport DPS. As far as some of the tease up reactions, this was kind of a closer vote between B and A, and it ended up being, being a lot more toward B. So uh, we kept that at like just a B tier because we really want to keep it safe. Uh, and then she's not very defensive; doesn't really have a lot of mechanics to keep her safe. Uh, so there wasn't that she's not providing anything to the team defensively. So that's a she C tier. And then of course for main DPS, godlike, massive damage on this character, super good. As far as reactive DPS, you get some crazy lightning reactions, do so much freaking damage on this character. She's insane. Love her. Awesome. Can't wait to use her. I still don't have her. Feels bad. Stop making me. Stop asking me to make Kaching videos. I do not have Kaching. I don't have Gene either. I'm sorry. I just don't have it. Anyways, maybe maybe on the next poll session, if I get Kaching there, maybe we'll talk. Okay. All right. Uh, exploration. She is a tier because she can you know jump around the map really cool. She that E ability to jump around is really nice. That's cool. All right. Fischl support DPS. People really like Fischl, bro. People really like Fischl. She's not very good defensively. You don't get the heal when you glide away in the bird. She's not very good with that. I mean, it's okay, but you then, but yeah. But as far as offensively, defensively, you made DPS, everything, everyone likes Fischl. It's everyone's favorite character in the game. I don't know. I like Fischl too. She's pretty cool. She's definitely one of the best characters in the game. Best for sure. All right. As far as exploration goes, she kind of booty. But uh, we're going to go on to Razor. Razor. As far as support DPS, teeing up damage with his E is not really the best. And I agree with this too. It's not very the best. Not very good defensively. Doesn't have a lot, provide a lot to the team defensively. So definitely C tier there. Uh, it's kind of a trend with a lot of the uh, the lightning units, which is really, really interesting. Like you can actually see the trends with, with, with the different types of elements, which is really cool. Um, for main DPS, definitely S tier. A lot of people like Razor. He's super fun, does a lot of damage, really cool. As far as reactive DPS, he does some big surge damage. A lot of people like him, but they do they do kind of recognize that fish is a little bit better because you get the one big hit on Razor for the E, right? But then for like Fischl and stuff, everybody knows that you get the big lightning surge from the procs from the bird as well as the bird dropping out. So many people have like, like I think we're a little biased on this like recommendation for the A tier. So I, I'm assuming that's why he landed an A tier for reactive DPS, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, definitely not as good as other characters like Beidou uh, for this, so we'll see. And uh, for uh, Exploration, he's S tier because he also has the stamina decrease thing that you can get while running around the map, and he three hits nodes, so that's great. All right, moving on, we now have Lisa, and Lisa is a support DPS. Tease up some interesting things. She actually, uh, in a higher constellation, I believe she lowers defense value of enemies on her ultimate, which is kind of interesting, and I was really curious about that. Or it might have been her talent, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but her ultimate lowers defense. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And um, so people were very ha happy about that, and they wanted to use her to tee up damage. Uh, There's also as a main DPS, no one really liked her. She was kind of okay. And then uh, for reactive DPS, very, very cool. Can use some baby reactions. And then she's the only character in this tier list with an actual S, uh, an asterisk, because uh, for exploration, uh, everyone voted S tier. I shit you not. Everyone in the entire fucking chat voted S tier. It was like like 95% S tier. It was crazy. Because everyone in the chat was a man of culture. So we obviously had to take the vote into our own hands and put C tier because she doesn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, you know, S tier for men of culture, C tier for everyone else.
All right, moving on. Now we gotta go into this, uh, the Geo characters. Now Geo characters, we're gonna go over just a little bit here before we go into it. Now uh, there is a bug uh, internally on the game that visually shows that the archaic Petra set says elemental damage resistance when it actually means elemental damage bonus. So you actually get more damage from it. So all all of the uh, Geo characters got a slight bump because you can actually use those as support characters to boost other characters' damage as a support. So that's kind of cool. So like all car all the Geo characters kind of got a big bump in the tier list, and they were people were really high, excited about that. As far as of overall support DPS though, that's why Ningwei moved it to the A tier because you can create those crystals to get the reactions, to get the, the shields. If you're curious about how this works, I will make a YouTube video on this. Uh, give me, put a comment in the YouTube section down below and then let me know if you were curious about this and I will make an entire video about this topic and I will talk to you about it. Um, uh, get some upvotes on some comments on that. If we get enough upvotes on a comment, I'll just do it. All right. Defensibility are for her and healing, of course, defensibility, the defense screen is top tier, dealing with shields all the time, top tier, very, very good unit for that. And she, that's why she's S tier. For main DPS, A tier, I used her myself. If you haven't checked it out, check out my Ninkling Chucky. She's insanely good. Very, very strong unit in general, very strong. Uh, reactive DPS, literally every Geo tier character is gonna be in the, G, in the C tier here because they literally cannot do reaction damage. It is in part of their kit, they cannot react to get more reactive damage. So that's why they're all C tier. For exploration, she is definitely an S tier unit because she can uh, blow up crystals. She can show mining nodes on the map so you can see where your crystals are on the map. Very strong for those things. And of course, she can use a jade screen to actually blow up multiple crystals at the same time. So it's very, very helpful. Um, it is kind of unreliable at times, uh, as I've noticed. But, you know, if you just want to use one character all the time for exploration, that's kind of nice. All right. And we got Noel. For support DPS, kind of a B tier unit, not really the best. For his ventability, S tier, definitely a very, very strong S tier unit for that. Main DPS, kind of iffy. We've seen some YouTube videos. We've seen, we've seen people try her out, and she's kind of okay. She's not great, but she's okay. Uh, and then for his exploration, she can blow up the nodes for mining in three hits, so she's pretty good for that, but that's about it. All right, for a Geo Traveler. Okay, so this one is a fucking biased as shit vote, okay? Um, I personally had to rate every single tier initially on this because for some reason, everyone voted C for every single tier because everyone fucking hates Geo Traveler. So I had to talk to Chad for literally like 35 minutes about Geo Traveler and try to get them to like boost him just a little bit. And they've got him the B tier for some tiers. But basically everyone hates Geo Traveler. So you couldn't really get a fair vote on the Geo Traveler. So just know that one's kind of like out the window because everyone hates Geo Traveler. That one I would say is probably the least fair of any of the votes. I don't even know if he's good at this point because chat won't even give him a chance because they hate the fucking E so bad. Okay? They hate his E so much because of all their experiences with Geo Traveler E that they can't even vote correctly. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you're the same. Moving on. Animo Traveler. Now, Animo Traveler, uh, as a support DPS, boosts damage very heavily. Very strong unit for his Q. Then you have a good swirl reaction, you get extra reactions. Very strong for that. Defensibility, not the best. Can provide some utility for knockback, stuff like that. But really just kind of okay. Uh, as far There are better characters that do that. Uh, that's really not the best. Main DPS-wise, he's kind of okay. I've done it myself. I definitely think he's viable, but definitely not the best. Uh, I, if you want to check it out, I have an Animal Truck on exactly on that. So check out my channel. Exclamation uh, for you in Twitch chat. Exclamation artifacts uh if you want to check that out but for you guys on youtube uh reactive dps kind of kind of good kind of good uh, there were some actually people in mad in chat saying he's the best in the game he's the best in the game he's the best in the game they were very upset about it and i was like that's very interesting who's so upset and for exploration kind of a beats here not really the best for venti s across the board except for main dps he's the best unit in the game this is fucking hands down no question, best unit in the game. Everyone thinks so, and he's, they know that he's not that great at main DPS, but he's the best unit in the game. Big pippy damage, big pippy swirls, big pippy everything. Okay, he's, he's awesome. All right, Sucrose. Now, this is a cool one, actually. I, I have no knowledge on Sucrose, so I was, like, really curious to see what the chat said. And a lot of people voted S, a lot of people A, and it was actually kind of interesting between the mix. But, like, as far as support DPS goes, she tees up damage very well and, of course, reacts on damage very, very well. So, super strong for damage and units. Very, very good for S tier for both support DPS and reactive DPS. She did. She had nerfed down for main DPS, of course, because you don't really get a lot of damage as her if you're just autoing all the time. You can if you get particles up and stuff, but that is basically what a reaction DPS is, not a main DPS. So it's more so that she's a reaction DPS character versus a main DPS for burst. Using her for just autos all the time is why chat didn't really like it. For as far as the definition goes, I can definitely see where they're coming from as far as the main DPS role for B tier, but she got really high rated in other parts. I think 
is a fair rating for her overall as far as where she can go. Defensibility and healing, she does pretty well for like crowd control, pre-anting in, etc. So I think she's very fair rated at this point. And uh, we'll move on to Jean. Now Jean, support DPS, A, defensibility, S tier, because people like her healing and defensibility and build a knockback suck people in over and over and over again she is a, she apparently a god i i want to try i've never tried uh then we're gonna go to the main dps people think she's really good i have yet to try her again i don't know i think she might be good but I, again i do not know I've never played the character and of course reactive dps people like her as a reactor to use a lot of damage but definitely not as good as either sucrose or venti more on the same tier as traveler to get the reactive dps and of course exploration she does an okay job as well but not the best all right, so to show you guys exactly how we did these, of course, we have Klee as the final character that we're gonna go over on the tier list because Klee is the only character we did not go over so far. We're gonna go over Klee. Chat, you're gonna vote here on the screen here. What do you guys think Klee is going to be as a main, sorry, as a support DPS? Do you think she's gonna tee up damage really, really well provide a lot of utility, provide a lot of elemental reactions so that you can actually do more damage on other characters, or do you think she's not gonna be a support DPS at all? You type it out, put your votes in, go ahead and go. Let, let YouTube know what you guys think and what you guys think about this. You type one for S tier, two for A tier, three for B tier, and four for C tier. The votes will then be shown on the screen as you're voting and we'll keep it open for about a minute and a half. If you want to vote again, Type the number one for S tier, type the number two for A tier, type the number three for B tier, and type the number four for C tier. Again, this is a support DPS. The support DPS, again, is a damage booster that will take damage from characters, uh, element type, and amplify other characters through elemental reactions. What This is, again, how you rate the character as a support DPS. Alrighty, so based on the current votes we have in chat, we're getting about a little bit over a minute in, get some more time in for the votes here, but it looks like we're gonna win out on the A tier for Klee. Looks like Klee is going to be rated at an A tier from chat. All right, let's go ahead and close up the vote here and move on to defensibility for Klee. Now, Klee does have some knockbacks and some other mechanics, explosive mechanics, etc., that you can do with her. So we're gonna go for the defensibility of Klee what do you guys think of the defensibility crowd control effects of Klee? Does she provide a lot of utility, etc., in order to give a large amount of support to your team for defensibility? This also includes taunts, healing, crowd control, etc. Does this unit do a lot of good stuff? One, you, to, to vote on this, type one for S tier, type two for B, A, A tier, type three for B tier, and type four for C tier. Again, we'll keep this open for another minute so you guys have time to vote, so you can see, get your votes in, and YouTube can see how we did every single rating in this tier list. Oh, by the way, Constellation 2 on, on her for defensibility, you guys might have been right, because it actually lowers defense by 23% for 10 seconds. That's pretty bitching. So good call on the A tier. I didn't, I didn't catch that. But for support and defensibility, I don't think I, I, I don't think we're I think we're fine. So we're on B tier. All right. So chat has voted on B tier for defensibility and as overall defensiveness of the heal heal unit. Moving on. All right. What do you guys think of Klee as a main DPS? Do you think she's going to be awesome? Do you think she's not awesome? Go. You type one for S, two for A, three for B, and four for C. Klee is a character that's going to use bombs that's going to be in a melee range, so you're going to be like more of a melee caster. So it's a very interesting unit for getting a large amount of melee DPS because she is a melee caster. So 1 for S, 2 for A, 3 for B, and 4 for C. Okay, so now we're at the end of the vote here, and as you can see, the chat is voted currently at Klee in S tier. Um, it is a little bit weighted toward a little bit of an A tier, but clearly there's a big difference between S and A, so we're going to say that this is going to be an S tier unit for main DPS. I don't know. Might work. Chat's decision. I don't know. Moving on. To the next one. Do you think that Klee is a good reactive DPS? A reactive DPS is a character that can create massive elemental reactions and give the team a super big surge in damage. Like if you want to use, if, if there's a melt of an ice character out there and the ice character puts the ice out and you use Klee for big damage, can you get big damage on that? Does Klee provide the big damage in that regard? So we're only about 42 seconds into the vote, but clearly everyone thinks that she's a very good reactive DPS, so we can just close that vote pretty quick, because that's an obvious 
one right there. Moving on. All right, so now we're going to talk about the exploration value of Klee. And if you don't know about Klee for exploration, she is very similar to Chi Chi, where she is going to provide the uh, nearby location of all unique resources to Mondstadt. So the special resources that you need for upgrading your characters. Is this unit a very, very good unit for exploration? So you can find those juicy materials that you need to find on your minimap. Type 1 for S, 2 for A, 3 for C, B, and 4 for C. Is she good for recording the, the fire puzzles? Is she good for finding the stuff, etc.? How much do you like this unit for exploration? You don't need to run on this character, climb on this character, but just having your party to find the shit that you need. Is this a good character? One for S, two for A, three for B, and four for C. Okay. So as far as the final rating on here, of course, we have Klee for the S tier. Clearly, a lot of people like Klee, and they want to say that that's where she is. Of course, all tier lists are very biased, and they're all rated on a lot of different things. So but, um, this video is, of course, based on not my opinions, but the chat's opinions and people talking in the community and what they like about things. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can Twitch that. Say bye to YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, of course, like and subscribe to the video. If you guys want to see pre part of tier list in the future, of course, when we do, when we have future units coming out in the future, if you do want me to do more videos just like this, I, of course, will do that so you guys can have future tier lists for community-based things. And I will invite all of you guys for the next time we do this. So, of course, you can feel like you're part of it so it can be less biased on your end. Again, have a great rest of your day. Peace.